Hi, I wanted to talk to you about this question. It's about the number of chocolate chip cookies. We're given the mean number of chocolate chip cookies per bag and the standard deviation. So I am going to draw a picture to go with this. So I'm gonna draw the normal bell curve. And here is where our Z scores go. And I'm gonna look at part B. Part B asks, um, what is the number of chocolate of cookies that make up the middle 95% of bags? And they tell us that the mean is 1,261 and the standard deviation is 117. So what we're looking for is this area right here that's gonna be 95%. So to start, I need to find the Z scores that give me a middle of 95%. So to do that, we know that the bell curve is perfectly symmetrical. So if we take 95 and divide it by two, then we get 47.5% on each half. So 47.5% would be from this dotted line here and 47.5% over here. And because it's the area under the bell curve is 100%, we can find this area because we know that this 47.5 plus this right here is gonna equal 50%. So if we take 50 minus 47.5, we're left with 2.5% in each of these little tails. And so I need to look up on my Z chart, what Z score gives me an area of 2.5% to the left or to the right. So I'm going to pull up the Z chart. And also you need to know that 2.5%, we need to convert it to a decimal. So we're going to divide that by 100. To, to convert a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100. So that gives us 0 0.025. And so that's what we're going to look for on our standard normal table. In this problem, you can click on one of these pop-ups. And we're going to look through here until we find 0 0.25, which is right here, 0 0.25. So it's a negative 1.96. So we'll come back here. So Z score of negative 1.96 on the left. And because it's perfectly symmetrical, the right side is also going to be the same number, but the opposite side, so 1.96. And we know our formula to convert a Z score to a number is Z is equal to X minus mean over standard deviation. So we know the z-score, 1.96. We're going to do it twice because we need to know the upper and the lower. So we're going to have a positive or a negative. The x is what we're looking for. They gave us the mean of 1,261. So that's right here because this mu symbol means the population mean divided by sigma, which is our standard deviation. If you look at the view and example, it shows you how to rewrite this equation so that you can solve for x. If you're doing basic algebra, we're going to multiply both sides by 117. So we get 1.96 times 117 is equal to x minus 1. 1,261. So now to finish this off, we can add 1,261 to both sides. And we're going to take plus or minus 1.96 times 117. plus 1,261. And I'm gonna open up my calculator, my calculator that I like to use, it's free and it's online, it's called desmos.com. 
So I would highly recommend that. And so I'm going to put it in twice. I'm going to put 1.96 times 117 plus 1,261. And then now I'll do it again with the same numbers, but instead of the positive 1.96, I'll have a negative. And so then that gives me the numbers, the 95%. So 95% of the bags of cookies are gonna be have between 1,031.68 cookies and 1,490.32 cookies. When we look over at the problem itself, it says round to the nearest whole number. And so this, we're gonna round, the smaller number, we're gonna round up to 1,032. So that's where the smaller number came from. And that's because the six bumps the, the one up. And then this large number will keep at 1,490 because this three, the number right after the zero is less than, it's a four, three, two, one, or zero. And so that is our middle percentile. Let me know what you think.